this video, we're going to be creating a fixed background parallax effect in Adobe Muse. Uh, so this is my project right here. Uh, if we preview it, this is what we'll be doing today. Uh, as you scroll, you can see that this picture of the birds stays fixed. It doesn't move with the scrolling. And it's kind of behind these, two, these other two panels. Then you keep scrolling, and now we have another image of a bird. And you keep scrolling, and there's another one. So this is a pretty cool effect. It can be used in many different ways. Uh, I've used it quite a few times for, for my websites. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started. I'll show you how to do this. Um, so first, we want to create a new site. And that's fine. We'll just leave it to the default. We'll click on the home page here. And the first thing I'm going to do is create my first panel. Um, and it's going to be, I'm going to make it 600 pixels high in height. And I'm going to make it uh, full width. So you just got to make sure that when you create your, um, your square or rectangle, um, that it that it hits a hundred percent right here you can actually see it it says a hundred percent width okay and what that does is that if you shrink the screen size the, the image will shrink with it uh, I don't want to stroke on this so I just go to fill and none and for the fill I want to add an image so I'm going to add this image here and I'm going to scale to fill and I'm going to position it in the center just so I can get, you know, certain parts of the image to, to show up. Okay. Now I'm going to add a, another um, section here, another rectangle. It's going to be filled with uh, an image. Oops. Okay. Yeah, so we'll use the rectangle tool here. And I'm going to make these 300 pixels in height. Okay. And I'm going to fill this with another image. Uh, let's do these birds here. Okay, and I'm going to scale to fill so it fits the, uh, the width of this rec rectangle. And I'm going to center it there. So if I, I mean, if I do a few different things, I'll get different um, views of the image. Because this, this rectangle is only 300 pixels height, you're not going to see the full image. But that's okay because it still adds an interesting effect. And you can still grab, you know, the best part of the image that, that you like uh, by clicking on the position right over here. All right, so we have these two pieces. Oh, again, I don't want a stroke on it, so I just click none. I don't want, like, that black border on this image. Um, so we won't really see anything at the moment. If we preview it, you see it's just kind of a scrolling. Um, we got this first picture here and we got the second picture here. Um, now to make this uh, so that it doesn't scroll with the rest of the page, uh, we go back to fill, we go to scroll, we go to motion, and we set the initial motion to zero and the final motion to zero. So we just don't want any motion on this image at all. It's just going to stay fixed and it's not going to move. So we hit enter and don't worry about the key position uh, because nothing is moving. We don't need to worry about this key position here. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference where this key position is. So we preview the site with command shift E. And as you can see, we're already getting that effect. The, uh, the image is not moving. Uh, this first panel is, but the second one isn't. And uh, the interesting thing is, is that you will see the whole image as you scroll. So in a, set, in a way, I guess it doesn't matter where this image is positioned. Like if you have it up here, it's more so like where you'll see the image start when you scroll. And you can play with that to, to see, you know, how that'll look for your website. All right, so let's add a few more of these. I'm just going to copy and paste this because we already have the effects on each of these, I mean, there's no effect on this first one, but we have the 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 um, the height that we want, and on this one we already have the effect. So all we have to do is replace these images. So I'm going to replace this one. If I go to fill, and I just click here on the image, and I'm, I'm going to pick another 
um, forest image. There we go, that's pretty cool. And it's already scaled to fill, so that's, that's all set. And here again, we're gonna go back to fill. We click on these birds, we go to fill, uh, click here, and we'll pick uh, this bird. There we go. And again, I'm gonna copy and paste. And we'll just put, put these right over here. Let's line it up exactly. Okay. Oh, it has a. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah, we want to take the stroke off this one too. Did this one? Yeah, this one had a, a stroke of one. Let's see if we can line it up there. Yeah, that's better. Okay. All right. So let's just replace this image uh, with. Um, let's do this one. Uh, I don't really like that one. Uh, let's do. Yeah, there we go. That's nice. Okay, and we'll replace this image with. Uh, with these birds here. All right, very good. So let's preview and see how that looks. Okay, so as we scroll, you see that second bird image is fixed. It doesn't doesn't uh, scroll with the rest of the page. Okay, now we have that other bird uh, that we put in there and these birds. You notice we have some white space here. Um, it's because of this footer. Sometimes I just like to change the browser fill to black, uh, black, just for these tutorial purposes. And we're getting, some, oh, there we go. You know what, we got some white there. Um, but as you can see, it's a very cool effect. I mean, it, it looks really great with other, you know, graphics and images and different ideas. I just, I just used the nature theme for the purposes of this video. Um, that's pretty much it. So again, it's just fill. When for the image that you don't want to to move, you just go to fill, go to scroll, click on the motion checkbox, and set everything to zero so it stays uh, fixed as you scroll. Okay, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. This is a velvet web design tutorial and I'll see you in the next video if you like this video please subscribe below there'll be many more videos to come thank you